Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for January 22nd, 2014. And we're going to start off with a radar uh, for the last loop for the last 24 hours here. And this is our storm that uh, took shape over uh, much of our area here, except for. Uh, northeast PA, which really didn't get into too much in the way of snow. Uh, this started off here uh, very early in the morning here, spreading out light snow early in the morning, but most of the heavy bands you see here uh, just took shape over uh, probably from extreme east central PA here, uh, well, actually from south central PA, over to east central PA and into northern New Jersey and point southeast is where we got the best accumulating snowfalls where the plowable snow occurred. And some very heavy banding occurred here uh, across, uh, you know, extreme southeastern PA and central New Jersey, especially where you get in, got into some. Uh, and here I'll, I'll stop this here. You can see where these bands set up here, right over the Philadelphia area, pretty much down to northern Delaware. This area here, especially, actually, we could probably expand this a little bit uh, to about here. Got into this 10 to 15 inch range here, so there was a very some very heavy snowfall. Uh, that occurred from that, and that actually extended into Long Island as well, uh, where they actually got a little bit over 15 inches in some spots here on Long Island. But uh, it's a very impressive storm system, considering we had no block in place, but this storm just kind of rounded the trough here and just exploded for some areas. Uh, it didn't get quite as far northwest as we had hoped, or at least expected, uh, but uh, we're a very sharp gradient cutoff here, where uh, every area is northwest of a line uh, from about right here, uh, north were really got cut off big time and there's some very low accumulations up here very high down to the south here so uh, we're crossed over the middle here we went right through uh, places like Reading and Allentown and uh, into uh, Easton PA uh, you know, those areas actually had uh, some reports of the north side of the town getting only like three inches and then as you get to the south side of the town you could you had as much as uh, seven inches so uh, you know, very different uh, totals here within towns themselves because of that, that pressure gradient that was uh, uh, keeping totals at bay here and keeping the heaviest precipitation further south of that line right there. Uh, we're going to go over to the GFS now. We're going to use the GFS now for this entire uh, forecast for the next uh, next seven days here. And uh, here's our system, first of all, bombing here east of, uh, well east of the uh, mainland here and he heading off to the northeast. That's going to head out with it. Uh, then are going to have temp the, uh, winds, excuse me, the winds are going to be heading in from the uh, north, northwest here. And uh, it's going to be a very cold wind. Uh, wind chills are going to be an issue. Uh, wet temperatures not getting out of the teens and uh, wind chills will be below zero probably in the 10 to 20 degrees below zero range across much of the central and northern areas and probably single digits below zero as you get down towards philadelphia and south jersey Go a little bit further in time here and uh, we're going to get to our next threat now this isn't really a threat a little clipper system here moving through the great lakes uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a potent system, but then it kind of fizzles as it heads east here. GFS not showing much of any precipitation here, but you could get some uh, few snow showers over here uh, into parts of our coverage area here on uh, Thursday evening, but uh, not a big deal with that system. The next system we'll be looking at is going to be in association with this uh, strong area of low pressure that's moving up through the upper Great Lakes region. It's going to have a cold front that's going to come with it, and uh, that cold front's going to pack a little bit of a punch to it. So we're going to get some light snow, we think, and this is not going to be a big deal, but this is going to be light snow that could give us, uh, in some places, you know, a coating to an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow up here in some places uh, on Saturday. So we'll have to follow the Saturday threat first because even though it's not a big deal, it's still showing uh, some, some minor accumulations, uh, generally a one to three inch type uh, situation that we're dealing with on Saturday. A few lingering flurries here on Sunday, but then it becomes mostly sunny again. We're going to, and our eyes will peel to the next system here is moving through the Ohio Valley. This one's going to be a little bit further south. So since it's moving, it's going to move in a direction kind of like this. And the GFS has it tracking something like this. And it is, since it is moving a little bit further south, it is going to be able to tap into a little bit more moisture. We're going to have to watch that. Uh, and I think the areas to the, to the north are going to be favored a little bit better for this one. Uh, for some accumulating snow and maybe even a moderate snow accumulation as we get to uh, later frames here 
Here's uh, early Monday morning. You can see the moderate snow is now setting up from East Central PA northward into northern New Jersey, and then the sun, and then lighter amounts as you head into southern areas. Uh, but this system is going to be kind of tracking right over top of the area here. We're going to have to watch temperatures and see if they're going to be uh, favorable for snowfall for areas in southern New, southern New Jersey, at least, where the warmer air might try to get in here. But uh, this is going way out here. We're talking about our 132 into the future here. So a lot can change with this system here, but uh, that's kind of how our, our system that happened uh, happened yesterday started off. It was a very weak, innocent-looking system, and all of a sudden, the models converged on the idea that it was going to they were going to have this dip in the jet stream, and it was going to kind of do one of these numbers here, and uh, allowed it to, since it dipped further south and the trough turned negative, we had a little bit of a blow up of the system and had some heavy snow because of it. This system here uh, will be similar in some ways, but in other ways it's not similar. It's hard to explain, but uh, I really don't think this has a lot of upside potential here, but they could get a moderate snowfall out of this, so we're going to watch this system for Monday. And then as we get beyond that, that's out of the forecast range here, but uh, there is the opportunity for at least uh, some snow as we get closer to the end of the month uh, on or around the 31st of the month, and that could be a bigger storm at that time. We'll get into that as we get a little bit closer, but those are the threats over the next, uh, next couple of days here that we'll have to take a look at and follow through the next week, I should say. And uh, right now they look minor, but uh, any changes we will let you know of on the Facebook page or on the uh, video as we update each day. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martridge. That is your outlook for January 22nd, 2014. Have a great Wednesday.